So how do we know if chlorine's really doing its job? How do we know how well it's performing? Well, there's a measurement for that, and it's called the oxidation reduction potential, more commonly known as the ORP. Oxidation reduction potential is also known as the conductivity of water. It's measured through electrodes in an automated controller, for example. The faster the connection, the more conductive your water, the higher your ORP, and the stronger your chlorine. Think of it like a smoke detector for a swimming pool. If you have low ORP, there's a lot going on and your chlorine's not very effective. You want your ORP in the high 700s or even the 800s, which would be excellent. But most health departments have a minimum at 650 millivolts. If you're below that, your chlorine can't keep up with the bather load. You need to do something else. Some people may shock, we recommend enzymes. But ultimately what's happening is your chlorine is not able to meet the demand. We at Arenda believe that the future of water chemistry is going to pivot around two factors, the LSI and the ORP. And if you can keep those in healthy ranges, you're gonna have great water chemistry. For more information, visit our website, arendatech.com, or contact us directly. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.